Bob and I, Bob and I are going to do a jab catch. Generally speaking, you want to do most of your catches with the backhand, leaving your front hand for better defense. So for both in the left lead, Bob has his hands up. Bob's going to typically do this hand here. Now the backhand, what you don't want to do is you don't want to catch and leave the hand like that. Because what that does is from a side view, it leaves my, my uh, uh, hook option defenseless. So when I go here, I catch it and I put it back on the backhand. It's like we say we're talking to mom on the telephone here. So if I leave it here, what happens is that hook punch from the opponent's gonna get you in this position here. So when I'm here, I catch like a catcher's mitt where the ball comes through the catcher's mitt, and then I bring it back down here. I catch and I go back. It's not wrong to catch it with your front hand, but then when I turn it here, again, I'm leaving a lot of this side open for hooks and for kicks. Kicks, I wanna kinda keep this available for blocks, moving in my body as I move my motion. The backhand just catches what comes at it. The person doing the jabs or the crosses, in this case we're gonna do the jab, but they're aiming for the nose. Sometimes you start going like this and the person's constantly aiming for the glove. We're not doing that drill. We're not doing it where we're holding the gloves and we're pretending this is the, the finished motion of hitting them in the face. So, slow motion, I come at Bob's face, he's gonna take his backhand, he's gonna turn it to catch it, he's gonna bring it back to mom. Just like that, pretty easy. So, I go here, I come back. I go here, I come back. So, even if I go across, you can do the same thing. Boom, boom. Cross, catch, jab, catch, jab, catch. And then we'll work it into a sparring motion where we'll keep moving around and one person just jabs whenever they want, the other person does the backhand. If Bob gets tired from that lead, all he's gonna do is he might catch a couple from that side, right? And then he decides, yeah, I wanna switch it up. So if he switches lead, I don't have to switch lead. And then he's gonna catch it with the other hand. But that'll confuse the person here. So make sure when you're driving through the jab, again, I'm not aiming for the glove, I'm aiming for Bob's nose. If I cross, I'm aiming for his nose, it's his job to catch it. But if you're practicing this drill, drill with the crosses, make sure you're leading through the hips, make sure you're pivoting, make sure you're not just throwing the arm out like that. Boom, come back. Boom, come back. Backhand catches, comes back, or a switch leads, backhand catches, and I come back. Then Bob will do a few to me. So. Doesn't matter what lead we're in, he does a jab, I just catch it, boom. Catch and reset, catch and reset, catch and reset. Boom. And what I could do with this hand is, a lot of times you can use that lead hand to kind of push it in. So I'm kind of pushing his glove into this center catch. That's another option. I might switch leads, he still does the jab to my face. Boom. And I just do it from the back hand. That's good. Ideally, you want to catch it from the lower part by the palm. We don't want to start catching it on the high end. So if you start seeing your hands kind of drop, that's not good either. You're, defend, you're, you're not defending your face. So I keep my hands back up here. I turn it so it catches here, or I turn it so it catches up in here. 